forget to comment, like and subscribe! On my channel you'll find makeup, nails and lifestyle videos. Hey guys, so today we are starting completely from scratch and I have got a new set for you guys. So this is the before. And first of all I'm going to start by sanitising my client's hands and then pushing back the cuticles. As you can see over there at the top of the screen I have a cotton pad with some colour swatches on. That's how I like to sort of show my clients the colours that they've chose or that we have chose together, how they all look together. So yeah, it's just an idea for you guys. It's like a little colour chart so it just helps the client sort of visualise how they're going to look. Now I'm coming in with my cuticle bit from Toadak USA and I'm just removing the cuticle area there that's grown onto the nail plate. Once I've done that I do go ahead and sanitise and finish my prep, apply my tips and shape them and then I'm coming in with some clear acrylic from NSI and just applying a thin layer over all 10 nails. Now I'm moving on to the pointer finger and I'm applying the chevron shape in the mint green. Whilst that sets I'm moving on to the other nails and I'm going to apply this neon yellow. Then I'm applying this really neon chunky glitter and fading it down. Moving on to the ring finger I'm going to apply this mint green colour and then this neon hot pink and I'm going to blend those together to create a really nice ombre. Moving on to the middle finger, I'm going to go ahead and apply a wash of neon pink acrylic just as a base for the same glitter mix that I used on the little finger. I just really find it creates a really nice background and allows the glitter to pop a lot more than it would by itself. Moving back to that pointer finger, I'm going to go ahead and use the neon yellow. It does look slightly green on this screen here, but yeah. I'm coming in with a neon yellow and I'm just creating a thin line around the shape that is already there. Once I've done that I'm going to go ahead and cap the rest of the nails whilst that neon yellow is setting. And to cap the nails I am using NSI's clear acrylic. Moving back to the pointer finger, I'm going to use that glitter mix that we used on the rest of the nails and apply that in the free space that is left. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the thumbnail. I'm going to go and do an ombre on this nail just to tie everything in together and I'm going to be using the neon pink and the mint green. And basically just want to work until those are faded nicely to your liking. Next I'm going to cap the rest of the nails that haven't been capped already. And once all the acrylic has set on all the nails I'm going to come in with my smooth top drill bit from Todak USA and I'm going to go ahead and refine the shape, smooth out the cuticle area and just make everything look beautiful. Next I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be applying some little jewels. These are going to be silver shells, starfish, little jump hoops and then some Swarovski crystals as well just to give that really like mermaid sort of vibe. I know I haven't got any scales or anything on there but anyway, still looks super hot. Once I've done that I go ahead and top coat all of the nails. The top coat that I like to use is Madame Glam's No Wipe Soak Off Top Coat. I absolutely love it. You can find that in the description box down below. I'll leave the link there and also a 30% off coupon code so if you want to grab yourself one then you can go and do that. I add some cuticle oil and this is the final result guys so I really really hope that you enjoyed this video I absolutely love how this set turned out I mean absolutely perfect for holidays and just like all year round to be honest I would wear that whenever obviously mainly summer but yeah anyway guys I will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye Take me away from home.